On the road, yeah, back again. Hope you're all good. If you've been following us this season, you would know that we're in pursuit of the Premier League, starting in Tier 10 and working our way up. And winning is what we've done a lot of this season, which is why we find ourselves almost at the very top of the non-league ladder, is Step 2, where we can go National League North or South. South is what I've opted for this week, as you would know. But next week, provided we win today, of course, I will visit a side in the National League in the North, I promise. And more on where we're going in a second. Obviously, you know from the tight one thumbnail. But before we get into this, check out last week's video if you haven't done so already. It's the reason we're here today. Thank you to Wingate and Finchley for the win. We're moving on up and we're moving on up to another team with an and in their name. It's name, Hampton and Richmond FC. They were founded in 1921 where they currently find themselves in the sixth tier of the English football ladder. Second and non-league, it's the National League South where they're in a mighty fan position right now in third. Whilst their opponents for today, Western Supermare, they sit in 12th but won four of the last five so they're in good form. Am I right in thinking this stadium is called the Beavery Stadium? Beavers! Which has a total capacity of 3,800, 644 of which are seated. Are any heated? Possibly. It's quite a nice part of London. So the first part of my journey is up over the QE2, which costs us £2.50 for the pleasure of going into Kent. The next part is me wondering whether we're going to get stuck in this on the way back. But we never really seem to, as your comments from the previous video are now flying up on the screen. Thank you for your support, of course. If you want to keep up that support, make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and check out the On The Road playlist. I never remember the exact number, but I'm going to say 130 videos for you to binge. It's like Netflix, but free. I'm always tempted by Heaver Castle, but <laughs> got games to go and see. Then frying off the M25 and ended up in Oxshot, which is really nice, although it has the smallest... It's not High Street. I don't even know what this is. It's got a pub, a state agent's post office, and many men. Well, not so many more, actually. Because it ends there on the right with the petrol station. But it's got everything you need, I promise. A tiny little bit of shops then turns into a bit of woodland. Followed by signs for a place called Isha. Is Isha is in the right place? Is what you're thinking, I know. And despite Satis and having ballsing things up on many occasions, I've got to trust it. It's brought me here to a red light, and I'm going to boost the volume here because there's something in the back snoring. We'll find out what that is in a bit, but is that the Thames over there? Or some part of it? I'm thinking Welcome to Richmond upon Thames gives us a better idea of what I just asked. Meanwhile, this runner is living life. He's either beating his personal best or trying to set off a speed camera. But as we pass this London bus, our destination for today is on the right. Yeah, buddy, where can I park? Park on the just, le just left. Come out, take the next left and park anywhere in this business complex. But with reserve signs everywhere, I've got to ask another punter. You alright, mate? Are we alright to park here at all for the football? Yeah, you can have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. So about that snoring. Gaze. Gazer. Well, Time-wise, we're actually doing all right. What are you listening to talk sport for? It's absolutely pish. Well, I've got the Venga coat on and it is actually time to wake up the boy. Guess where we are? Where are we? We're at the... the boat. I promise you, he was well up for this, but it could be a long day to be fair. <laughs> As it stands, I'm going to have to carry this boy all the way around today. Is that you're such a dick. But upon arrival, he's actually walking on his own two feet. It's going to only be a positive as we move into the next part of this video. Welcome to Hampton of Richmond, where the boy is free, but I'm going to have to pay £19! Whoa! And I'm about to spend even more money. <laughs> Love, I've literally just got through the turnstile after spending 19 quid. And now you're asking me in front of my kid if he wants to see Santa. <laughs> I don't think so, somehow. Was that worth the fiver, mate? Was it? I hope so, because I've got to carry around your present for the rest of the day now. Oh, you want to go over there? Well, we will be going over there in a minute. But first, dog at the football. A Merry Christmas, Matt. And a place to grab some merch, but rather than carry it around like Zach's present, I'll do it after the game. So it's back outside where Zach's taking an interest in goalkeepers warming up. I know he's mad, but he ain't mad enough to be a goalkeeper, surely. Behind us is a village grill where we're about to pay £7 for a cheeseburger and chips, and then it's into the terrace we'll be allowed to eat it. And of course, as usual, ratings for everything like food and drink is going to be at the end of the video. Last to me, though, an interesting way of doing things, I did ask for onions. They are there, but they're on the bottom. It's not wrong at all, it's just different. Having brought Zach today, he is now my little helper. Stick in the bin, mate. Go on. Stick in the bin. Don't look in there. No, just... That's it. Well happy of himself. Next up, we walk, we roam. One of the best things about non-league, of course, especially with a two and a half yard, it'd be well bored. Our first little walk has brought us to corner flag, and it's a decent girth on that. Not the meetings, but certainly not a chipolata. But the punters, there's a firsty beaver in the corner. Made me laugh. And out there, we've got players in white shorts and socks, which are from Western Supermare. All right, looks like we're doing a lap. A single trip or a grazed knee could actually ruin this day, so we've got to be careful. I'll no doubt miss things today, so I'm glad that they're filming on one of these things. Continuing our trip, we saw a cone, a speaker. Guess the song. Tough one that as we reach another corner flag, which quickly results in us moving towards goal. And background to where we start as we bump into James, viewer of the channel and owner of one of his own. Hello. Hello mate, link is in the description. Football grounds are great and they Zach, so much to do. Although as players come out, we're going to need to go a bit higher than the front row. Second row in the red might do. Or maybe not, these guys have decided to stand right in front of us and have a pint. Lovely, cheers guys. Well, whilst we wait for them to move out of the way, it's probably worth telling the line though that there's plenty of holes in the net. Looks we'll like the hardcore are making their way behind the goal, just in time for a kickoff. <laughs> Some more people blocking the view despite plenty of seats being available. Trust me, plenty of seats. Don't worry, we'll move. And it's been a good start from the home side. Some 
complaints about the goal, Lino put his flag up in the build-up. Western Superman's gaffer is already in the book, and after a lengthy discussion, which is no different to VAR, the goal is eventually given. <laughs> Zach's on the move, he's reached level green. You might have noticed a little green car in his hand. Uh, this is the last time he saw it. Go down the back of the stand, isn't it? Back to the game, Western Superman manager giving the ref grief again. He goes by the name of Scott Bartlett, so for the rest of this video, I'm going to call him Scott. The Seagulls were having chances, but nothing to write home about. Whilst at this end, Ronald McDonald was keeping the score to just one. Scoreline's the same at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium right now. And if you thought Ronald McDonald was random, I hope you can see why. Meanwhile, Zach's up and down, and I think I just missed a goal. I think I did. Yeah, it's definitely one all. All right, here we go again. But immediately, Zach's going to see the greatest free kick of his life. <laughs> I think you might have missed it. What about this? That guy reminded me to check this score, and this score is going all right. Darren on photos has got a big one, pass it on. Meanwhile, Zach's eyeing up someone else's pizza. I'd rather nick these chips, to be fair. Go on, head over there. Stick your hand in there and grab a couple of chips. It's honestly the only food that you can hold and own where someone else doesn't have to ask for permission to grab some. Or maybe he wasn't looking at the chips. Maybe he's looking at the amount of iron brew this geezer's got. A two-liter bottle with a 500 mil can sitting there. One can only imagine what's in the bag for life. Okay, it's nearly half time, so we're walking. Zach's trying to work out how he can get through the fence to get that ball. Not gonna happen, mate. Come on, half time. <laughs> Now, I'll be honest with you, Zach ain't shut up about that pizza. Did I get the pizza? Of course I got a pizza. Just spent £10 on a pizza. Hot. Hot. As cues go down and players come out, we're trying to polish this off. Zach's keen to watch his second half. So much so, he's got two slices on the go at once. No DNA test needed. He is my son. Confirmed. Can I watch football again? Yeah. Slightly different location this time. Just a couple of lads on the terrace singing wheels on the bus go round and round. Thankfully, not all day long, though. However, boredom soon sets in as he's rummaging through Santa's gifts from earlier. Inside, we've got a... <laughs> Pencil, yeah. A football pencil, I should say, and a football notepad, which is about to get soggy. This is why we're here. This is what we pay for. Oh. And it's at this moment I realise I didn't need to buy the pizza. Mum's made a jam sandwich, didn't she? I'm glad I brought Zach, actually, because this second half's been a bit dire. Never have I ever eaten a jam sandwich on a football terrace. <laughs> it was disgusting. Zach doesn't agree. He thinks he's lovely so much so he's deconstructing it right now. Did I say this is why we're here? This is what we pay for already? I think I did. Oh. I swear he was eating a jam sandwich a minute ago. How's he moved on to cheese? Next, he'll be necking one of these. Of course, he no longer wants it, and I've got to hold it. It's 1,335. Thank you so much. It's a nice, decent attendance for non-league. As a digital subs ball rises like a beacon of hope, hope that today has been a worth it. You're telling me that this was also in the present from Santa? That's a good quality hands, that. You're going to wear it? <laughs> Of course he's been worth it. Although his legs are aching now and he's demanded to be carried. On the shoulders he goes. One can only describe this second half as scrappy. <laughs> and now he's ready to go home. Hang on 10 minutes for me, mate. I'm sure they do that thing at non-league. <laughs> nope, just a pin drop. We're walking the long way round to ensure we see the rest of this game. As I say, the first half was decent. Second half, not so much. It's also colder and darker and Zach's getting moanier. Found the lino down here and he is wearing Nikes. It was Puma Kings the other week. Copper Monday hours the week before. Been lovely and varied. Zach's actually found a fold up plastic chair. This will definitely keep him occupied. Crowd's decided to pick up a little bit. <laughs> Beavers, by the way, known for scoring damn goals. <laughs> Not right now, though. I did say this would keep him occupied, but he's decided to chuck it through the fence. Come on, there, let's walk. Let's have the Richmond look for a third. <laughs> don't fall over, don't fall over, don't fall over. <laughs> I missed the actual contact, but I feel like Western Superman should have had a penalty there. Instead, ref's had enough and sent Scott off. He'll be sitting in the changing room for the next, what, two minutes? Meanwhile, the Spurs score is matching what's happened here. It is full time. And just like that, we have documented father and son watching the football together for the first time. Should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. First up, and as per usual, it's atmosphere. Was I disappointed? Slightly. Of course, at non-league, is not always a given. Even at the biggest of grounds, it's not always a given. I believe this is the first time this season on the road that we've seen a game where it's over a thousand people. So maybe I expected a little bit more. But for me, unfortunately, one and a half stars. Next up, we're talking facilities. The setup down there is very good. Feels modern, yet has a bit of character to it as well. You've got the additional bars in the corner. Little tents for fans to congregate under pizza ovens. For the level it's out, I'm really happy with this one. We're going to go four and a half stars. Next up, we'll talk about food and drink. How was it, Zach? Zach, how was it? He's actually currently downstairs singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, so I'll carry on. Start with the chips, really nice. Zach approved as well. The burger, which was solely mine, in case you're wondering. That went down nicely. Football clubs, if you're watching, seeded buns all the way. Unless you want to get a brioche, then be my guest. What about that pizza? We had the pizza, didn't we? Wolf that one down like no tomorrow. Really good. We've got no complaints. Four stars for the food at Hampton and Richmond. Might have been talking cost. A slight let down on this one. Though we're slowly getting to the levels where teams need to be pushing up their prices because of the outgoings that they incur. 19 quid, I do feel, is a little bit steep for this level. It's the second most expensive in the division, beaten only by Talkie United, who have a particular stand. If you want to sit 
sit there, it's going to be 20 quid. For me personally, League 2, National League is around the 20 mark. Be interested to see if they do get promoted, do those ticket prices rise? We'll see. But for now, for cost, we're going to go with two stars, which puts Hampton and Richmond on a total of 12 stars, which in true on-the-road fashion proves that the higher you are doesn't necessarily mean the better you are. Having said that, me and Zach had a good time, and we are promoted to the very top of non-league. It is the National League, which isn't really non-league, if I'm being honest. And as promised, I'll be travelling up now. But for now, if you enjoyed these videos, hit that subscribe button, drop a like, it helps me massively. And as I always say, I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, and Happy New Year, you bunch of beautiful people.